Hey design team and today we're gonna cover a bit different topic it's Adobe Comp app for Android and iOS devices and what we're gonna try to attempt is to wireframe things on a mobile phone. If you're considering to do any wireframing on the go when you travel let's say you kind of would have to go for let's say no devices or iPad Pros because we have a pretty cool and accurate stylus. I wouldn't think you would design compositions if using your fingers anyways, right? So without further ado, let's go into actual app and see how you could, let's say, apply it or how I would use it on the go to wireframe simple, let's say, uh, mobile mockups or simple compositions or simple wireframes. So first. we're gonna jump right into it. As you can see, I have Samsung Galaxy Note with a stylus. As you can see, if I'm close to the screen, it puts a dots in and it's really, really accurate to be honest. And today we're gonna jump right into the Adobe Comp, which is an app basically, which allows you to uh, wireframe inside an app. And as you can see, I have already a playthrough uh, kind of like a, a simple wireframe done from before. You're gonna be asked to log in into your existing uh, Adobe account. So you need an Adobe account, although you can do it in a free version, so you don't have to. Let me just drag away and remove the shortcut for the stylus options. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new wireframe. Um, let's pick something smaller than an Android. And so it could be, let's say an iPhone 6. So it allows you to pre-fill different artboards and pick one of the artboards, whichever you want to. And here automatically you get a canvas. Now it's one by one, so you cannot add too many canvases, but as you can see, this is basically iPhone 6. What we can do next, either start drawing boxes like so, and then it converts into a box or into a field. And you know, as you can see, there is guides and it kind of like clicks in into different bits like so. So let's say maybe it's our toolbar or maybe let's put it down below, like so. So let's say maybe next we can create an image and it recognizes that it's a placeholder, as you can see it. Or we could add it manually as well, so app allows it too, which is pretty neat. Let's say, let's make a copy of this thing and maybe kind of have it as a, as a, let's say this is our slideshow for the item. So once the user low lands in, we can maybe slide things back and forth. And then you have a lot of options for different objects, as you can see, it doesn't matter what I select. I'm gonna have those styling options. Down up here, up, up, up ahead, you can add different shapes. So you saw that I can, let's say, take a circle here immediately. And then I can do something with it. Maybe this is our material design thing. So maybe a circle is gonna be here as a one of the primary actions. And then we don't need the toolbar. But as you can see, I can kind of wireframe bits here and there, especially like important bits. So maybe this is actually gonna be a tag. Let's, let me just give it a different uh, color maybe. Something like this, as you can see, there is a color wheel. I can use uh, libraries as well. As you can see, I haven't predefined anything. Maybe I'm gonna use that color thing I have preset up like so. But it basically, it allows you to put different shapes, use library assets. So let's say if you have some sort of logo, you can just drag in, it's quite easy like that. Otherwise you can just, you know, play with lines, let's say. So I'm gonna take a line. As you can see, there is also textual elements, which you can immediately um, add like so. And so I can just restructure it here and just add, let's say something like hello world. And as you can see, that bottom bit is where you have the formatting. So I can maybe resize it and make it like so. So the precision of it is one of the most important bits here. As you can see, if I start doing something, it, it has neat guidelines, which are quite intuitive, but it also like, for example, here, I just touched with a finger. Ah, it's a bit painful in a way. Ah. Because now it thinks I want to draw. Okay, so zoom in is basically done by gestures, but I can't really dra drag it back, so I'm gonna remove it for now. But as you can see, the precision is quite, it's quite hard to do it precisely. 
I need to use more gestures and if I wouldn't have a stylus it would be really complicated and painful to do anything here. Um, I can also add an image, uh, undo, uh, share I guess or export also settings so I can add a grid or guidelines if I want to so let's say maybe this is our gutter like so and when it adds like in you know small lines here and there again the precision is a bit I don't know if you can even see it on on the screen right now it's quite interesting okay but let let's imagine that I'm happy with it I'm just gonna go ahead and just proceed with uh, mocking up something to let you know exactly how it feels I like that, that you can actually duplicate items and also you can set the layering of it. As you can see, I can put it away or put it up front and it's quite intuitive. Another nifty feature is that I can actually copy the styling. Minus a precision element, I can copy the actual styling of the thing. And I'm kind of getting used to the actual intricacies. And as you can see, my wireframe is slowly getting here. Another nifty feature is that you can select multiple things. Let's say if you want to duplicate like this, as you can see, I'm selecting a group. So there are a lot of built-in nifty functionalities here and there. And so my wireframe looks okay for, you know, for a time being. As I was working for it, I was trying to actually check what functionality is most relevant here and if it's actually reasonable to expect for people to actually attempt, you know, doing it because it requires quite a little bit of skill to actually go for it. But also because the interface is really easy to learn, right? But the flexibility is just not there and there's a lot of different bits which kind of tend to annoy me at least when I was doing it. And if not for stylus, this would have been probably a disaster to be honest. But just to show exactly what happens next, let's say if I'm happy with it, I guess I moved too many items, but that's the thing. As you can see, I can't really predict what's gonna happen next. Now I need to go back and fix it. At least it clicks in into different grids, so it's not, you know, not too much of a damage. But cool, you know, imagine that I'm done with it and I, I had all these options to play through and these are the settings I want to publish. I can either send it in InDesign I can send it to Photoshop or I can send it to Illustrator. So all the options are there, but I'll just save it as an image or I could just share it, you know, with my friends on, on this Android device. Boom. And I just saved it into my Google Keep uh, for the later use, let's say, or later preview. But once I'm done, I can just exit and that's gonna be saved as one of my projects. You know, this is one of the, one of the wireframes. If I wanna create a second one, I would just go back and then I'm going to have multiple different views, kind of like artboards in the app. The app is not, not pre, you know, it's pretty good. I would recommend to install just to check it out exactly what it's about. I mean, it's quite simple. A good step into that direction where you're going to be able to do something with it. And, you know, the next step is to make it much more flexible, uh, much more responsive to actual, maybe even touch gestures but I just can't imagine doing it with my fingers, to be honest. I can only do it, let's say, with my stylus, but that's about it. I mean, how else would you use it? And as you can see, I mean, on the camera, maybe it's not obvious of like, you know, the colors and everything else, but it allows us to do things which, let's say, we were able to do back in the day of balsamic software, like really simple wireframes, right? So if this is your cup of tea and you have an iPad Pro or a Galaxy device with a stylus, give it a go. I mean, maybe it's something you can do, you know, while you travel and you have some ideas rushing through your head so you don't have to do it while you arrive in the office or to do spending like minutes here and there. And maybe this is going to replace paper in some way or another way. So I hope it's useful. If you like these type of videos of, you know, like experimentation and new tool reviews, leave a comment down below, give it a like, subscribe to this channel. And as usual, I'll see you next time.